and welcome to my first episode of my History of Fashion series. I'm going to take a look at the fashion and beauty from my favourite era, the 1940s. In recent years, vintage fashion has become very popular, in particular the 1940s style, so I'm going to take a little look at why this may be. Pam Making knows all about the changes that happened during and after this time, as she started to work for Vogue magazine just after the war. I started off as a messenger girl at 17 and I think I was the first messenger girl to be employed by Vogue or any magazine in 1946 um, and it was great. We had to work very hard clothes-wise to bridge the gap between being giving an impression of efficiency but femininity. Mm. But you would never appear in an office, in a, a, you know, in a sweater like that. No. It would not have been acceptable. Due to compulsory service during the Second World War, there was a view that some women who worked in more masculine jobs lost a certain level of femininity and sense of fashion. However, a statement made by Vogue magazine in 1944 declared that fashion never died in this war. I remember making a, a, a high neck back, backless, halter neck really, um, top out of an old pillowcase which I dyed and my aunt had it off me within about half an hour because she thought it was indecent. No bra, you see. The idea that beauty is duty was enforced by the government and women's magazines to boost morale and to maintain as much normality as possible. the barriers that had been imposed by mothers and grandmothers went down. You never wore a first between April and September. You never wore diamonds during the day um, or any kind of literary jewellery. Many individuals from wealthier backgrounds were initially shocked as women began to wear different styles of clothing like trousers. Vogue magazine even condemned them as slackers in slacks. However, from the initial shortage of luxury items such as silk stockings, women had to change their attitudes towards clothing in a short space of time. Knitting and customising became essential in many households. They adopted the make do and mend attitude. Uh, we all learned to make things out of curtains. I had a, made a, a dress, I suppose it was about 1948. Um, dyeing net curl, cotton net curtains, navy blue, and I wore it to a ball in London with a young ex RF child. Spent the evening dancing with Bud Flanagan, would you believe it? It was an adorable old boy. Whilst it was also a struggle to obtain certain cosmetic luxuries, beauty was not completely banished. Women were advised to use products such as toilet soap and even Vaseline to replace mascara. Lipstick, in particular, was essential to home front morale and manufacturers developed new colours for different uniforms. Auxiliary red became an extremely popular colour during the war and added a touch of femininity whilst showing a sign of strength. Now let's go and look at three lovely ladies who dress up in wartime fashion for a living as they perform in the 1940s vocal trio, The Three Bells. So I'm here with the 1940s vocal trio, the Three Bells, who've just done an amazing performance. <laughs> okay, so I'm an, enorm an enormous lover of 1940s fashion and beauty, so I was wondering where did your love and passion of it start? Well, it started at university actually. We, um, we went to the University of Portsmouth and uh, we came in each day and we, each day we got a little bit more vintage and we, we all had a love of it from a young age. You, what did you like? You liked I love the Andrew sisters oh, from ages ago, yeah. 
Happy Page. I like London Quarters musicals and I love the dress sense always. But you quite like jazz, don't you? Like? I did. I'm really into Ellen Fitzgerald and Nina Simone mm. and all of that. But it was weird that we kind of, the more we knew each other, the more it kind of came out that we equally shared the love for the 1940s. Yeah. Um, so it developed and since we've been doing Three Bells, we've been researching more and just falling in love with the fashion really in the era. We love it. Yeah, that leads on to my next question actually, because I was saying how vintage, especially the 1940s, does seem to be very in at the moment. I was wondering why you think that is. Uh, I think it kind of started with um, the royal wedding. I think we were, we started around then, and there was all this kind of keep calm and carry on came back into fashion. Um, and then we had uh, the Jubilee and the Olympics and everything. I think England kind of got a bit patriotic, so all vintage kind of came back in, and vintage weddings started happening. Didn't and someone say styles go around? Who was that yeah. Lady? She said oh, like uh, Naomi Thompson. Yeah, well, styles like come back every 50 years, apparently, someone said. Something, mm -hmm. like something like that. So, so we're back in, we're back in era the era now. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, because it was recycled once in the 80s. In the 80s, the 40s was really yeah. fashionable. Yeah. And they had like all the polka dots and um, their dresses. They had like quite a lot of shoulder pads dresses. I've got a few 80s, 40s style dresses. Yeah. No one knows that they're That's interesting, you know, isn't 80s. it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I love searching for vintage clothes and I, I mainly scout sort of eBay and things like that. So where do you find all your clothes because you must have a lot. Well it's a tough one because we used to find them in charity shops but it's when we, we try and find things that match <laughs> for a start. So I was wondering so, where you got these from actually. Yeah well these we got on eBay okay. yeah and um, the we, the suits that we wore earlier the Ren suits they're actual Ren suits from the 40s well not necessarily from the 40s but from any time and uh, they came with the gold cuffs and queen's crown buttons but we've had them tailored to be 40s with the blue cuffs and the king's crown buttons and then we've also um, we shop in charity shops and vintage shops for our own stuff in our own time, you know, different clothes. But we found that it's harder lately because it's so fashionable. Like, you can't find the dresses and stuff. But also, we like to match quite a lot. Yeah. Um, so we do quite go on sort of like retro and um, what they call Free pro. Free pro. Yeah. So like collective. Yeah. Collective. Because they, do you can buy like three of the same dress and stuff. And yeah. uh, what are the other ones? Um, Heyday's great for swing trousers. I'm really into swing trousers at the moment. Yeah. And so. also, if you like eBay, the vintage version of that's called Etsy. Oh, okay. And, or, or like, yeah, Etsy is crazy at the moment. Everyone loves Etsy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Etsy's good. I find that they're this sort of clothing is becoming a lot more expensive as well because people, yeah. Yeah. you know, they're making... Oh, in demand. They're We're so sad because when we go um, into our favourite vintage shops and you think, oh, that's great, and turn around and it's like £40 and you're yeah. like, oh... And also, so. the thing is, I got a dress for £40 in a vintage shop a couple of years ago and now that would definitely be 90 Yeah. Mm. But also, the, the sizes are quite small. Mm. A lot of, yeah. Because yeah, they were they were so thin from the yeah. rationing. But and then if you go on Etsy, <laughs> you can get them from America. Wow. They were, and they, they, they had the chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> they they, they had, had the chocolate. They had whatever they wanted. <laughs> yeah. um, so I absolutely love like, bright red lipstick, and um, I know that women used to call it war paint. War so sort paint. of, yeah. to, you know, it's to, sh to show Hitler that it was that's what they were going to do to keep feminine. So do you feel when you wear this makeup and when you wear the lipstick that it adds to the glamour and the femininity that these women would... Do you feel different when we you wear We could do it without. Definitely, yeah. I mean, I don't think we'd be half as sexy without one. <laughs> Mr. Octagon, what you doing tonight? Hope you're in the mood because I'm feeling just right. How's about a corner with a table for two? Grab a news and smell the wind, some gay rendezvous. There's a chance of The war enabled women to adapt their clothing styles and it gave them a sense of freedom as they were able to customise their pieces in their wardrobe. During this period, some of the most influential styles become apparent. For example, one-piece siren suits, military outfits, 1940s tea dresses, and large handbags where they carried their gas masks. It is easy to see why this look has become so popular today. I certainly like wearing my red lipstick, and it makes me feel very glamorous. Mr. Ochagawa, my Anita was fun. You can see the wonders that this evening has done. Ooh. Mm -hmm.